Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this uh, privilege that you have given to us, Lord, to fellowship together through this Zoom. Father, we submit our meetings today to, to your hands, Lord. Uh, Lord, uh, guide us. And uh, Lord, we pray for all the equipments that we are using, electricity, internet, uh, laptop, cell phone, whatever, Lord. We pray that um, you'll protect it all, Lord. Uh, bless it, Lord, all, Lord, that all may function well, Lord. That, uh, we may have uh, this fellowship, uh, Lord. Uh, we we are going to strengthen each other, Lord. Uh, and Lord, we pray for uh, all who are who will be uh, uh, taking part in this uh, fellowship, Lord. Uh, that uh, use your servants, Lord, uh, to to speak to us, Lord. To, uh, that uh, as we sing, that uh, every everybody uh, should know, Lord. We pray that uh, you will use us uh, to proclaim your words, Lord, to those who haven't heard your your name, Lord. Those who are, uh, who are not uh, believers yet, Lord. We pray that uh, uh, you will use us, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We pray for our friends who used to join with us, Lord. Um, remind them, Lord, and uh, so that uh, they can join us also. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, all of you who are joining today. Yeah, we are very happy because we still have time to worship the Lord. And also before listening, uh, they would have got it from the speaker. So I give time. To, I give time to uh, Raymond Tay first, yeah, to give the testimony uh, for two or three minutes. Raymond, Raymond Tay is your time, and then uh, followed by Adam Teja. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Glorious morning again. Even though I didn't go to sleep. Today, <laughs> I still a glorious morning. God uh, is good. All the time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. God is Hallelujah. good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to glorify God since uh, Pastor Subhakti asked. So we must ever ready as a child of God, we must ever ready to give testimony. I mean, I mean. Uh, uh, by the <coughs> testimony and the word and the uh, blood of the Lamb. Uh, to defeat the enemy, isn't it? Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful, wonderful. So yeah. I want to glorify God because uh, last year, last year when I was in USA in March, my daughter also called me up from London, from UK, you know. So uh, she she sounded a bit distressed. She said, "Dad, you know, while I was also quite distressed in USA lah because of COVID nineteen." They said, "Dad, I want to come back lah." They said, "Why?" You haven't finished your study. Why you want to come back? She said she don't believe she didn't believe that more, more uh, what Boris Johnson can handle COVID nineteen. Wow! I said, how do you know? <laughs> say this this Angmo uh, they say Angmo uh, the uh, two freedom uh, uh, her uh, immunity she's very scared you know she said that I want to come back to be with the family. So she mm -hmm. came back. So she came back uh, quarantine and then. Uh, I came back a week later after her. I also quarantined in another hotel. So three supply places, you know. But thank to be God, uh, my wife and my the other daughter was able to send food to us in uh, uh, two different places. But after a while, when we uh, united on the Easter day, and we were celebrating, you know, with the uh, uh, Holy Communion and dinner together. And then after seven months, she said she couldn't stay at home anymore. She said, Dad, I want to go back to UK. Wow, last August. So she came back in March, want to go back in August. So during that time, also very bad, you know. So as a parent, you also very anxious, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But thank God she went back there. She still uh, rented an apartment. 
uh, I also not sure that I can provide, you know, uh, with this lockdown, not doing anything. But all in all, God is good. Truly, truly, God, God provides, you know. And she has finished her study, uh, getting very good results. <laughs> uh, praise be to God. I was worried about her. You know, she couldn't go to school. You know, don't know where to uh, tuition and, and uh, get the go to library and all that. But praise be to God. Uh, she uh, scored very well her bar exam. She studied law. So she called to the bar. So she has this, uh, you know, ceremony put on the white robe and then the robe, you know. So uh, two days ago, I just bought her a ticket. She wanted to come back in September 17. Mm -hmm. So all in all, God has been, uh, you know, a hand of God is upon, you know, uh, not only us as a parent and it's also our children. So glory to God. Glory to God. In, right? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lemon Tay, for uh, giving testimony about your daughter. Yes. And now I give time to Adam Tija. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Bhakti. It's so good to see everyone here. We have Reverend Day, we have Edmund, Arthur, all our friends, Raymond, David, Ricky, Robert, Thomas, and South Martua. It's so good to see you all. Uh, I guess, um, yeah, um, what I'm feeling very grateful for is I just came back from an hour walk where I actually meditate on the Word of God. Um, I am actually in the process of preparing of sharing with full gospel. I normally normally um, with full gospel Indonesia they ask people to share maybe a week or two weeks before the actual date. But this time here um, I was asked to share like about four weeks ago, four weeks ago, and the sharing will be two weeks from now. So I really had six weeks time to share and. But this time, this one, I really, really struggle. You know, like the first week, the guy uh, texts me and says, Hey, I want you to share. Um, what's your title? I say, I don't know. I, I'm still asking for Holy Spirit to give me the title. So on the second week, I still haven't got the title. But all of a sudden, I heard deep inside my heart a word, conscience. And I said, okay, uh, what is conscience in Bahasa? I don't even know what conscience in Bahasa. Because, you know, I don't... I don't <laughs> Bahasa is not, is not my, my best thing. So I, I Google translate it and find out it's Hati Nurani. And I said, wow, what is Hati Nurani? <laughs> so, uh, so I was in the process of trying to figure out uh, what it is that I want to share. But God is good God, amazing God daily. Uh, it started convicting me of my wrong conscience. And I just realized that you know, all this time there were things that I thought was right, was actually wrong. And I don't even know that it, I don't even feel like it is a wrong thing, but it's actually wrong. So I think it's just a process for me just to correct my conscience so that I can actually uh, share about, about this topic. Topic that's something that people don't share much about anywhere. Uh, it's quite hard to find material, but you know, but we've got the Bible. Everything is in there. Everything is written in there. So really, uh, for me, it's just time to meditate on his word and trying to figure out what it is that God wants me to share. But God's been good. It's just been a, a really good, I guess, two weeks. You know, every time I have moment, I just say, yeah, I, I need to prepare this. So far, I've got one paragraph, which is good. So it's a good start. But, you know, I'm really um, excited about it. But I really hope that I can share as well as our brother David and Raymond here. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I'm looking forward for David as well today. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Uh, pray for me. Pray that, you know, that God continue to give me revelation what it is that God wants me to share. The title is Hati Nurani. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Bhakti. Okay. okay, thank you, Amtija, for sharing. Uh, uh, and before I give time to uh, others, uh, we have a new participant who are joining today, Thomas A. E. Yeah? Uh, Thomas, can you introduce yourself? And if you have testimony, you may say it now. Okay. Okay, good morning, everybody. My name is Thomas. I'm living in Batam. 
to Singapore, I'm member of the prophetic chapter in Batam. Yeah, I speak a little bit English, but I'm happy to join today because I like English. <laughs> so uh-huh. I say, speak to me, man. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Uh-huh. Thank, Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That is my introduction. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, we must welcome you, Thomas, and also Thank don't you. forget to to type in the room chat your contact number. Yeah, so we may contact you later. Yeah, okay, okay. So good. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So you so you <laughs> well, uh, past few days I was down with a bad cough, mm. so I was coughing badly, and also when I cough, I get a backache. So anyway, it was overdue time for me to go and see my uh, lung specialist because of my COVID, Corona, H1N1. After two years, I was scheduled to go in June, but been delayed because of the COVID-19. Uh, the number of cases going up in Penang is so, so quite tremendous. Uh, yesterday and day before was a thousand more people that are affected. So I've been keeping delaying from June, July, August until my wife say, hey, you got bad cough, it's high time that you go for your, your medical checkup. <clears throat> so I went yesterday and uh, I had my x-ray check on my lungs and also a blood test and also a check on cancer marker. And then I went to see my ENT to check on my nose, my throat because of a cough. The throat may be irritated, but praise God. My ENT cleared me for my ear, my nose, and my throat. And also the result came out for my blood test and the x-ray. They're all proven to be positive. So, But they just gave me on cough mixture, so I'm taking cough mixture. But they make me sleepy. So yes, they excuse me. They want to be praying for everybody today. Because it makes you drowsy when you take cough mixture. But praise God, the result all came out very positive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's my testimony. Thank you. Praise the okay. Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Edmund Chan. And uh, I would, would like to hear from Sydney. Yeah, from Reverend Tay. Just two minutes. You would say something? Reverend Tay? Are you there? Hi, oh, yeah, you? yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Well, as you know that uh, we, are, we are now in lockdown. It seems from two weeks for four weeks now to two months or even more, Adam should know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and uh, well, it's very difficult for everyone and even for us at the mission. But we thank God that, um, that we are still able to reach out to the seafarers at this time. I have... We, we share out our, our responsibilities to assist the seafarers. And uh, there's one vessel coming in on Sunday. Um, they have already sent me a list of items to shop for them. And yesterday, I went out to Harvey Norman and bought only three items and cost, it cost $2,000. Three items. One soundbar. Yeah. Uh, Sony soundbar and another two mobile phone, Samsung mobile phone. That three items already cost two thousand dollars, Aussie dollars. And um, so there are other items like uh, provisions, uh, groceries that I need to buy from uh, the supermarket. That will, I will have to do it on Monday, and have to go to the fish market to buy them some seafood as well. So these are some of the activities or responsibilities that uh, as we reach out, we need to, we need to help the uh, seafarers along that way. So continue to pray for us. Um, only three of us holding the fort at this time. And on top of that, I have to write policies and uh, attend to the board requirements as well. So I have, actually my, my hands are full. <laughs> and uh, so I'm in the midst of writing a policy, uh, terms and conditions and 
and the job descriptions as well. So these are all part and parcel of my responsibilities, but uh, I need wisdom and, uh, and uh, concentration to do all this. Thank you for giving me this time to share with you. Thank you. Okay, Th thank you, Reverend Tay. Thank you very much. And also, uh, now I see we have new participants uh, whose name is Grace. Grace, are you there, Grace? Just introduce yourself to us. So, yeah. Grace, you can introduce. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Introduce yourself. Yeah. We must welcome yeah. you. Okay. Introduce yourself. You. Is it a man fellowship? Ah, uh, uh, it can be men and women. Yeah. yeah. International. International. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get to see you all morning. Yes. Where are you from, Grace? Go on the park, huh? uh, Grace. Do you have to wear mask? <laughs> no, I invited her to come in. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sure. yeah. there's a main, there's a, there's a incoming call. Yeah, I see, I see. I was ministering to her a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. She shared with us, you know, how she been uh, healed of uh, an human and God gave her visions. To, to paint and to sing during this pandemic <laughs> for mm. the Lord. Mm. The Lord. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Sorry, uh, sorry, the, uh, the line is not clear. I'm, I'm at, the, at the park, so the line is not very clear. Cannot hear you all. Okay, thank you for coming in. Uh, you can. Yeah. Uh, I just I just listen and enjoy with your is it intercession? Okay, okay. You can listen yeah. to Pastor David Wong afterward. Okay, okay. Take care huh? on the park. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Grace. Yeah, for joining today. If any one of you would like to give testimony, I still have time for you. Uh uh Atulpura, do you want to say something? Atrapua, are you there? Or Ricky? Yeah. Which one of you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm working on my garden and listening to you all. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. I want to hear David, David, uh, David preaching today. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Edmund is doing okay. Yeah, we are at least, uh, we got to keep ourselves in good shape yeah okay. so god bless you guys okay god bless you uh okay now it's our time to listen the word of god from david wong david wong it's your time now i give you time directly uh. Yeah, okay. shalom, shalom. <laughs> shalom, shalom, shalom. If, if i were to assist the pastors uh at the point, I say Preach, man. Preach. That's a preacher, man. But it's more sharing because all of y'all are preachers on your own. And, and Thomas is learning his English, huh? But he's in Singapore. Are you in, in Singapore, Thomas? I can't hear. He said Batam Island. Oh, Batam. I, I thought you were in Singapore, he said. Okay, great. Anyway, welcome. I, I thought I'd start with just praying for myself and also for some of the items. Father, we come before you again, Lord, by the throne of grace. And we are renewed every day, Lord. Just like all your promises and mercies are new every morning. But Father, sometimes with all this hanging over us, not just the COVID, our concerns, our tiredness, and our prayer requests. Father, you know that uh, Raymond Tay, the insistence eating, yes, he's shared about Richard Leong. But he's got COVID. He's got also the other cancer. And we pray, Father, in Jesus' name, as you say, ask, seek, and knock. Ask, Lord, and you shall be given, seek, and knock, and the door will be open. And we ask in just childlike faith, Father, that you touch him, and you feel him, and renew him. And you also renew Raymond, even as you go. Thank you for his testimony about his daughter. And I pray that she'll be back safely, and then all things will work. We also want to pray for Adam Teja, Lord, that he is preparing, oh Lord. Speak to him. 
as how you best would. He has, he's got very powerful testimony and also wonderful work in India. And, and thank you even for Reverend Tay as he share his concerns and his challenge. And he said his grades are full. But as you say, those who are here really come to me and I'll make your load. So Father, once again, thank you for provision. Thank you, Lord, even as we live in this strong family group to hear you, Lord, talk about this thing, about the three Ps, your position, your purpose, and the power. Father, we thank you and ask that thy servant Lord, fill up with her lips that they may utter your words, Lord, in Jesus' name. And the people of God say, Amen. Amen, amen. Amen. Now, I think this is a very basic thing, three uh, aspects. 2 Corinthians 5.17, your new creation. Now, uh, okay. Now, therefore, can, can uh, Subhakti? I can't. Yeah. Yes. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, I like to personalize if Teja, Raymond J, Thomas, Pastor Atapua is in Christ. He is a new creation, not the one a new creation job. No. All things have passed, and behold, all things have become new. Uh, it's easy for us to just mouth it, right? Just to say, okay, you know, new. But what's so new about it? Even every day as I look, is that new? Okay, la, something new in Singapore, right? For your information, just update. Now we can now have two for unvaccinated, but five for vaccinated, and we don't know where we are going, but yet other countries, Japan just come back, wow, terrible, Penang, our brother, Edmund just shared, and we thank you even for uh, for Edmund, even as you bless him and protect him. So what's so new about you? I think we go back to basic and say, the old has passed, what is the old? Our old way of thinking, our old way of speaking, our old way of how we look at the situation. I don't know if, let's say you were not in Christ, how would you look at today's situation, Mike? You say in Chinese, say, <laughs> but yes, I think it's the real thing. It's very real concern, the daily needs. I, like this Raymond is saying, my business is coming down. We are going through all this, but we know where is our position, right? our identity. Remember this, when, when Peter was asked, who are you? Who do you say I am? And a lot of all the other apostles say, you are Elijah, Jonah, and so on and so forth. And you say, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Christ has to tell him again that this comes from the power of the Holy Spirit or came from the heavenly father itself because Christ was there. The Holy Spirit is around but he has not been released. But by the same token, you read later, he say, get ye behind me, Satan. You know, to, to get Jesus to tell you, hey, get ye behind me. Here one moment, you give him praise, and next moment, you are like this. So, in short, I would say, where is our position in Christ? With this COVID, with all the things that we are going through, where is your position? I think, Let's look at Colossians and see what he says. Colossians. This one you can't get. Huh? I, I read from my book here. Colossians. Chapter 3. This new life in Christ. Verse. I'll read from the Amplified Version. Okay. So, Pastor, otherwise it's not preaching. Is because I want to be as original as I can. Because if you want to have good preachers, now with technology, you can get the best preachers. Man, you go into YouTube, you go into WhatsApp, and there's numerous things. But if you want to share your heart out, this is it. Chapter 3. If then you have been raised with Christ to a new life, Amplified Version, thus sharing his resurrection from the dead, aim and seek the rich eternal treasures that are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And then what do you do? Set your mind and keep them on what is above, higher things, not on the things that are on earth. 
Uh, this is where your alignment of your thought and your focus. We can go back to Romans 12 and say, uh, you are living sacrifice and renewal by the mind. Let me say this. You even talk about the speech. How are you? You were bad, unseasoned. That means all the four-letter words, cursing, swearing. This is probably what we would say, oh, what is this the government is doing? Yes, it's true. We expect the government to do. I thank God in some ways our government is not a perfect one. We have so far been quite blessed. In fact, Raymond has sent, I sent him one about this, this Muslim guy. And he said, yeah, apa Singapura ada? You have rubber, you have tin land, and then you have oil. Singapura ada apa? Tapi, or ini kaya Singapura. Not us, huh? I thank God. We are rich in Christ, remember. He emptied himself. He gave all his riches. He came to be a servant to die for you. So you know, this new creation, this identity that you have, please remember. It's, it's sometimes easy, I tell you, really. I mean, Edmund, I trust he's very consistent. You know, he knows where his blessing is. He knows where his position. But sometimes, yeah, he still say, oh, yes, I better go and get my cough check. Yeah, please. But he knows. If anything should happen, he will be with the Lord. And it's not easy. It's not easy because he has job to do. That's why the Lord has kept him. And he's got many work to do. Until the time when God says, okay, time's up. It could happen to me. It could happen to anyone. So remember, please, your identity in Christ does not change. Um, but the moment you are in Christ, that identity changes. And then Satan will come and say, you think you are that good? You think you are that well? When I was trying to prepare, I say, I look at it and say, God, how do I start with this man? They are all giants in their own field. Identity. What is this identity we speak about? That you are in Christ renewed. And he is seated at the right hand pleading for you. But your identity does not change because the moment you're in Christ, he said, the old has passed all your weakness, your thing. But it does not mean you have not come out of it. You will still, remember I just said, Peter, he said, hey, who are you? Who is who do you say I am? Ah, you are the Christ. But by the next moment you read his verse, he says, Satan, get ye behind me. You know, or I tell you, it's not easy. Man. But he's still struggling. And later you saw, right? Peter denied Christ three times. But this is the personality of Christ. But to say that you will deny me three times, but at the cock crow, you know, uh, that is God himself. That is the power of prophecy. And he will give us to it. And let's look at the following verse and see what happens. So remember, you have been raised from him. Your focus is now the things above and not the things below. But you have your concerns because you have children. I have children. I got my family. Two of my girls, one is in Melbourne, the other one is in USA. And this USA daughter is coming back with my son-in-law, who is now going to be a pastor. By the way, he's going to Redemption Church. And he is also wondering. So I told him, I say, your identity in Christ, but what is your purpose? Ah, this is the part, the second part. Your purpose. When you know your identity in Christ and you know your focus, now your purpose. Let's look at the next verse, uh, Subhakti, verse 18. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 18. We don't have, I'll read mine. Okay, have you got it? Subhakti, can you put it on? Or if not, I'll read it. Okay, I'll just read mine first, the 17, the Amplified Version. Therefore, if any person is in Christ, engrafted in Christ, the Messiah, he is a new creation, a new creature altogether. The old, previous moral, spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. Now, verse 18. Have you got it? No, sorry, not 19, verse 18. Now, all things are from God, who has reconciled us to himself to Jesus Christ and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Now, many a times you ask, hey, what is my gifting? Yes, we should. That means whether it's a prophecy, apostolic, the fivefold, evangelist, 
pastors or you want to say shepherds and teachers. But let me say this. God has, is a given, just like your position is given in Christ, identity. is a given that the ministry of reconciliation, he has reconciled to the Father. So what are you to do? God came, I came only one mission, to reach the, those that are lost. And this is the ministry of reconciliation. I look at this amplified version. But all things are from God, who through Jesus Christ reconciled us to himself, received us into favor, brought it us into harmony with himself, and gave to us the ministry of reconciliation that by word and deed we might aim to bring others into harmony with him. Now, this is eternity uh, we are talking about. And when Jesus said, you know, this is the part where most of us sometimes forget. Jesus, John 10, 10 said, the key come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I come that you might have life. Now, we are really living one. Some of us may be even existing only. But some who are blessed so tremendously with talent and all, they are living, they are scoring. But are you living in Christ? The purpose. What is the purpose? <laughs> The purpose is to reconcile, just like you have been reconciled to the Father, the vertical reconciliation. And now you do the horizontal reconciliation. That is man to Christ. And that is the gospel, actually. Again, it is first him, by him, for him, because the purpose is for him. Christ came that you might foresee for me to live is Christ. To die is gain. Uh, it's not easy. I mean, for Paul, he has come to this stage. But even him having through, he wanted to go back to the Lord. Remember again, he wanted to go back to the Lord. Say, Lord, he has been beaten many a times. Like you say, prison awaits Paul. Everywhere he went, prison, persecution. With a mind and a situation like this, would you want to live in this earth? He says, I would rather be with the Lord. But now he put it on us, on the account of us. Now this is the consolation ministry. On the account of the gospel, on the account of him, God say you shall stay with us for another 20 years. And God provided him the strength and the energy. So the purpose is what? So that the ministry of reconciliation, that is the gospel, will be preached, shared and testified in his miracle life. That you know. And the last one, which I think sometimes we forget our, not only just position and purpose, but the power that is given. Subhakti? Verse 20, actually. Subhakti, verse 20. Yes. Yeah. Right. Now Just then... We are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf to be reconciled with God. Now, it's again going back to God. But first, remember, now then, let me give you my amplified version. Huh? So we are Christ's ambassadors, God making his appeal as if true were through us. We, as Christ's personal representative, beg you for his sake to lay hold of the divine favor now offered and reconcile to God. Now again, the word I would say what do you think is an ambassador? Sambirin, you want to try? What is an ambassador? If, if Jokowi were to ask you, kalau Jokowi minta. You want to try what is an ambassador for Indonesia? Ambassador. But you are given. If, jo if Jokowi asks you, you got to apply. you got to say, oh, my name, my qualification, my experience. Then he will consider maybe he himself will select you or he has a committee of selection. But we, in Christ, you are given this ambassadorship whether you like it or not. Do you know? What this entails, I think in Peter he says, oh, you are a priesthood, you are, you are a saint, as Paul says. Even position of ambassador for Christ means power. You are given all authority has been given by him, for him, and to him. 
all in Christ. So your position is given by Him. Your identity, your purpose <laughs> is given by Him for Him, and the power as an ambassador, as a representative of of Christ Jesus in this world. So the favorite word Paul would say, "You are the salt and light." And sometimes you say, salt, Jesus says, as salt is lost, is saltiness, you have lost favor. So in this time and in the continuous leap, I look at Edwin and I say, God, you are really a salt and light. And I'm looking forward to half his salt and light. Not because of the durian. I saw he had a very nice sour salt. For your information, sour salt is about ten dollars a kilo, which is thirty ringgit a kilo here, man. It was carrying the other day, but praise the Lord because sometimes through virtual, I, I get to feel, I get to feel in the spirit, but I think the physical, that's where Christ, the experience that He gave you. How do you know you're an ambassador? Because He says so, but do you know? Do you really know? Just like your identity, do you really know your new creation? Do you feel your speech, your thought, even your dressing sometimes change? This is the power that God has given you. Your purpose is very clear. The things that are above, that means to build on this discipleship that Christ has given. His, his favorite word he was saying when he left Matthew 28, go and make disciples of Nation, not just believers but disciples. So, you before you do that, you got to be believers, then you go, then and baptizing them in the Father and teach them all that I taught you. Uh, it's a big call, man. It's not just the pastors, but I must admit, sometimes the pastors have failed, they have also just taken their salary. They look at a package. I tell you, when Hasim won here today, uh, Hasi, you know, he was. In 1990, he shared, he said, God, I, I don't have any support, so what can I do? And the Lord guided him to become a developer and thank the Lord today. And I hope to also link up when the COVID is over. He was given that purpose, he knows. But how? The power. To be the ambassador, he come, he needs to do this. So I pray that whatever position you are now in, not so much of that, this position, whatever situation to be exact, situation you are in, where you are, your income has gone down. I thank God so far there is no greater need. But I must remind you, this is one thing you have: health. Health is wealth. Please value your health. Edmund Chan can tell you how much time he has got left, and he value very much. So, in short, we just say, don't count your days. But make your days count, like Paul. So in simple conclusion, I'm ending it very shortly. So you must know your position in Christ, which is your identity. You must know your purpose in Christ, which is the things of the above. Right? Don't forget not only the good news. Right? The love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love is not love until you share the way. Until, and that love is all happy love. And you can do all the good works. But to do the God work, you got to understand this, your identity, your purpose, and the power. And it's all done in the purpose. Now let me give you in conclusion this Colossians uh, chapter 3 about a new life. Just now I said, if you then have been raised, chapter 3 verse 1, if you then have been raised with Christ to a new life, Sharing his resurrection from the dead, aim and seek the rich thing, eternal treasure that are above in Christ, seated at the right hand of God, and set your mind and keep them set what is above and higher things, and not on the things that are above. For as far as the world is concerned, you already have died, and your new life is hidden in Christ Jesus. It's very difficult for me to identify myself sometimes. I put it this way. I am Wong Liang Fen, David Wong, a person. I'm also a husband to my wife, Eileen. I'm also a father to my two or three kids, Sarah, Maria, Moses, Samamo. Sometimes I wonder in what 
authority in what? And I know that this life I live has come from above. I thank God for the blessings in this. So sometimes, as Raymond just said, yeah, he was concerned as an early father, but he knows as he will defer and say, my heavenly father is very concerned with the whole situation on earth. Can you imagine the state of earth is today? And the one thing on his very heart is that they will be reconciled. And Jesus said, came to seek the lost and to save them. And through you, the ambassadors of Christ, will his work be done and completed. So in conclusion, he said, no, one of the things as an evangelist, I'm reminded, no, the end will come no, when the gospel is preached. You know, and we hold his timing in that sense. One of the conditions, like right, when the gospel is preached, so if we delay, if we sometimes, if I may say, shy or feel a little bit reserved or frightened about sharing the gospel, then you pray for boldness, which is in the X. Boldness as shown by Peter. This is one thing you pray. Pray for boldness. Barani, eh? In Acts chapter 4, verse 21. Now the Lord look at their threat, grant their servant boldness to say and speak your word. And by stretching out your hands to heal the signs and wonders. When they have prayed, the place they even assembled shook. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they spoke the word of God with boldness. I tell you, in the preaching of the word, I tell you, I mean, Edmund, it's not easy to feed just even 300, let alone 3,000. And it's not, it's a daily affair. You know, how is it going to come? He do it with the firmness of knowing the confidence in Christ. Raymond also say, Where, where's, my, where's my next interesting case is coming? Arthur says, how will my students learn? The end times are coming, but where is their focus? Yes. You can learn as much as you want, but please go out there. Go out there and share as much as you can through the power of the Holy Spirit. And finally, in concluding, we have the power to do all these things. But remember, Christ reminded the 70 in Luke 10, 17, the return of the 70. Then the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subjected to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fell like lightning from heaven. Now behold, now this is the word, behold, listen. I have given you authority and power to trample upon serpents, scorpion, physical, mental strength, ability over all the power of the enemy possesses. But nothing shall in any way harm you or hurt you. But nevertheless, please, please. Do not rejoice, Luke. Please, Luke, if, if Sebakti can show. Do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subjected, but rather rejoice because your names are written. So sometimes, many of us, we do things thinking, you know, yes. Of course, Paul did say there will be crown, five crowns of reward. But first, that your names are written. And remember, he also said, I have this the salvation, you know, work out, not work for. Huh? Salvation is a given, but work out your salvation. What we rejoice, no, with fear and trembling. Why do you think you say that? Because this is the tough part. That's why we need to know our calling. We need to know the will of. For each one of us, like you say, to ask me to even feed 30 people, well, it's a challenge. What alone, 300, now 3,000? For Raymond K to pray just for that one soul. And now, he has to rest. And just Adam Tejan, just for now, yeah, what, what is the topic to share? But if we can remember our identity, share with love and bonus, it will come. But remember, the gospel is what it's all about. Remember the things of the, the gospel. Why did Jesus come? Yes, to free men from this captivity so that we will not live in this bondage. But as you say, we are in this world, but we're not of this world. So remember, whether we are under this situation of COVID, and I hear something bigger is going to come, someone predicted from the world, 
that there's going to be a financial shake up at the end of the year because of inflation. Just just a saying, it's not not prediction. Maybe in year or two, we don't know. But something big is going to be. That means this is not big enough. I don't know. But where is our identity? Where is our purpose? And where is the power? Which is, we are all ambassadors, whether you like it or not. So remember this, my brother. So go with the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Can I just pray? Father, we thank you for your word, Lord. We must know where our position. We must know where our purpose. And we must know where the power is. All from Jesus. is by him, for him, and through him, Lord. So we thank you that we are here to glorify your name. But it is very tough, Lord. Very, very tough. Sometimes I don't even have the financial resources. And sometimes the timing is so difficult. Father, give us the wisdom from above. Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit work in our lives. And as we pray, honor our prayer, Lord, Father, when you say, when two is agreed, it shall be done. So we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time of sharing. In Jesus' name, I give you thanks and pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, uh, David Wong, for sharing about the Word of God today. Uh, can I open Q&A for the participants? Uh, the Wong? Yes, oh, please. Ah. I okay. like this part. <laughs> yes. Adam Teja. Okay, it's your time now. Adam, Teja, yes. Can... Yeah. Uh. Thank you, David. Thank you for the message. So, uh, position, purpose, power. Um, ambassador in Christ. It's a. Uh, it's very timely, and I'm. I'm just grateful that you share that, because tonight that this is um. There is what we call Obrolan Empat Sisi tonight with the national board uh, and the national uh, FGBMFI. This is exactly what we'll be talking about. Um, also coming from Luke 10, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers. Amen. The harvest. Exactly what, what we will be sharing about tonight, we'll be, about, we'll be chatting about. If I if I can have uh Pastor Bhakti, are you able to make me a host? Okay, okay, host I'll do that. Okay, okay, great, great. Share a screen. Okay, okay, done. Just okay, thank you. So what I'm sharing here is something that um, I thought is very close to very close to my heart right now because I maybe some of you have seen this. Uh this is are you able to see the screen? Okay, yeah, groundbreaking tool. Yeah, for yeah great okay. Now, this is a website that is created to help people like us to uh, for the Great Commission. Uh, there's so much information in here that uh, that they put together from the data that coming from a very reputable uh, sources, you know, people like WHO, people like World Economic Forum, OPEC. So, they put together this information. So what we have is really what uh, David is talking about. We need to be the ambassador of, of, of Christ for the world. So with this information, we're actually able, if you look at this now, able to see the need of uh, gospel in different nation, like Afghanistan right now. You know, it's very high, very high on the list. Somalia, you can actually go in there and get more information. Just... Just to shorten my, my sharing here, I go straight to Indonesia. So in Indonesia, we are able to see, uh, you know, like what's the index, what's the need in there, and also able to see, like zoom in into informations like what kind of people group that need, uh, what kind of people group that need the gospel the most. If, I'm, if you're looking at it right now, what I'm pointing, Sundanese, where the Jawa is, that's where, where Pa Surbakti is. The population of 37 million, imagine there's only 0 0.49 Christian, and then the evangelical is only 0 0.05 in comparison to different people like Jawanese. And, and uh, also, if we go into the language, it's just, I mean, it blow my mind. The information they're able to gather. So, you know, people like yourself, David, if you haven't found this, it's really useful, like Chinese, Mandarin. I mean, the population, they, they consider it to be 1.29 million. The Christian is 
35 percent evangelical is quite high but really sundanese is area where we you know the darker it is is the area where we really need to concentrate you know we are the ambassador of christ and we need to go in and zoom in and i remember uh, not i mean okay i'll close this sharing I remember the sharing of a man by the name of uh, Francis Owusu. He's actually a man of FGBMFI International from Ghana. During the convention, he actually was told that he will receive a vision from God. And true enough, that, that night he received a vision of uh, the vision from God. What they, what they was told is God was telling him to tell Maria that he needs to plan chapter in every nation where FGBMFI doesn't exist. And God will use the chapter as the seed to to grow and then to, to, to allow uh, a holy sorry um Holy Spirit to work in there. So it's it's a prophecy that I think you know we, we always hear a prophecy of of uh um demo Sakarian, but this is the man who received prophecy during the convention a uh, recent convention in mexico and i think this is the time for us to actually go to the nation go to the area where fgbmfi doesn't even exist and yeah we need to move yeah thank you thank you for the sharing david very timely yeah well praise the lord you know uh adam because i've gone you know now the, the so-called uh, the Taliban's are overrunning. So even America, I said, I can't do very much. But what we're talking is spiritual. Mm. What can you do in that small moment is yes. to reconcile them. And of course, man has always been very stubborn. So I have learned this one thing. Uh, when Jesus went to the woman at the well, mm. he went to see this woman. He broke all kind of rules, you know. He was not supposed to be, because he's a Jew, right? He's not supposed yes. to. He broke that rules. He sent his disciples away, not because he's embarrassed, but he wanted a one-to-one -one audience with that thing. And then, of course, this woman appeared. But he went in as, as Jesus, but also as the son of the living God. Mm -hmm. That's why he's so powerful. So when I was looking at this point, I saw, he saw the woman, right? And we would probably say, wow, this girl is terrible. Man. Five of them, none of them is the husband. But he, because he was God also, he could see that after he got to know this woman, the women went back to share. And the women was very shy, right? Everything. But he went back to share to the village. And then the villagers said, it's not what the woman said, but I have seen for myself. So for us, we have experienced Christ and we have done this. So in short, when, I, when God gave me this 99 plus 1 ministry, Jesus said, leave the 99, the righteous, but go to the one. That is one. But the other thing is also, who is your mission field? Actually, wherever a non-Christian is there, that is your mission field. That means either you have two things. When you see a Christian, you fellowship. Don't fellowship. Huh? Don't fellowship. You fellowship. But of course, because of timing. The other one, when you see is the non-believer, you try to do. And because of time, that's why sometimes I carry a track. I got no time. And today, technology, you can send tracks virtually man, through strangers you want. You can pick up from YouTube. A lot of good speakers. Man. Wow. If you only had, that's why the word bonus, you got to pray for the wisdom yeah. and bonus. Okay. Wisdom of the timing and the bonus. Yeah. And let me share with you one that I did. We invited, I don't know whether you know, Senior Minister Go Chok Tong, the, the second Prime Minister of Singapore, Go Chok Tong. Yeah, I, don't think, yeah. I don't understand why a church asked him to open the ceremony. You should either ask a bishop or a senior pastor or what. He asked a, a secular guy to come to the church opening ceremony, you know. I tell you, that's why sometimes human beings. But what did God give me that bonus? You know, so during the opening ceremony of Bartley Church, nothing personal, Bartley Church, so somehow there was a preparation for capsuling like this. Put the thing in time lah. That means uh, two years or five years ago. So in this time they put a time capsule. Oh, I tell you, they cock up. So he, uh, the senior pastor apologized, and I tell you at that very moment. But I had news like you say, Go Chok Tong is coming. So I went. I brought a photograph of my daughter 
as a baby because during the time he's the MP then, you know, and also that time he was a prime minister or something in the 90s. And my, my daughter was just a few months and we had a baby show. Singapore got lots of campaign to increase the birth rate. Lah. I carried, I brought her and I brought my daughter Sarah in person. And she was there. She said, wow, Dr. Go. I mean, Mr. Go Chok Tong. This is the picture. This is the girl saying it. And you know what I did? The very difficult. I don't know for what reason I gave him a hug, but I had to ask him permission. Now, this, this really happened, I tell you. It's not my regular self. I mean, I like to hug people, honestly. I'm a huggy person, huggy, like teddy bears. But he's a senior minister, no, I tell you. The, his protocol of security was trying my fingers, you know. I can feel someone trying my I hug him, and he was trying my fingers, you know. And later, I got from my senior pastor, he said, Wong. It was very dangerous. But let me say this. Uh, when three minutes is like eternity for a, for a uh, you know, what do you call it, VIP, you don't know what to do. And I tell you, for that three minutes, I gave him a hug and I gave him a book about the gospel and all the testimonies of people. Mm. In Revelation 12, 11, by the testimony of the blood of Jesus, Raymond. I like that, Raymond. And that was and condensed. But on that day, got three MPs, no? I don't know what to do. I managed to only share with two. One and sit in. This I must show you. He is NTUC, famous NTUC chairman. The CEO. Okay, people, can you see it? Can you see this guy? The actor should know. If you think you will see him. He's the NTUC CEO. Oh. And I tell you, how I got this name card. Also, see, this is how God positioned. So remember, you are the ambassador for Christ. I tell you, you gave him an MP, he got more money la, than you, and you gave him. But the gospel is what was it. And I had to be warned, no. But thank God, la, this is something I have to tell. Sometime on a personal level, here is the thing, no. You got to get the bonus. Get the bonus from Christ. Of course, the wisdom, how you do it. And I thank God. La. And the other MP, I couldn't do much. The gospel was shared there. But I hope and I pray. And and by the way, this guy, Sia Kemping. Huh? Sia Kemping. Can you see his name? Uh, I don't think you can. Sia Kemping. <laughs> you know, later I found, out from, yeah, I found out from him that his wife is with this uh, Kong, uh, not Kong Hee, uh, 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 the, magic, the magic pastor. Uh, what is that church? In Marine Parade. His wife is, but he says, I still have yet to become a Christian. So I say, brother, it's about time. Now, can you imagine? I think the wife must be sharing. Lah. But sometimes it's still a heart. Lah. You see, like Jesus say, a prophet is not accepted in his own town. Lah. In his own town, is a prophet not accepted. Sometimes it's like that. So you have the wife has been a, a, a long time Christian. But when I met her at the, at the airport, because I was going on the way to to Reverend Taze, the, the place uh, where this guy was sharing. I tell you, this guy gave me this card. It's not easy uh, to get a card, I tell you this. I forgot. I thought his handphone was there, but nevertheless. So this is what I'm trying to do now. I hope another opportunity to ask him a personal prayer. So praise the Lord. So remember, the mission field is wherever there's no Christian, that's your mission field. But mm. when your calling is concerned, like your calling is to the world. Your concern yeah. is India and a few. Or Edmund, the 3,000 repeating and in his, and right in his Jerusalem, there he's sharing. Or Raymond Tay now is given a new Zoom ministry. Powerful, man. Powerful. Every time you see his people, praise the Lord. Keep up the God work, not just the good work. Keep up the God work. That's the difference. The good work, feeding, but the God work. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, bless the Lord. Any more people who would like, yeah, for Q&A, maybe you would like to share about your life or ask something to the speaker? Sembiring, do you want to say something after listening the word of God? Ah, uh, because you... And ask me if I have any comment. Thank you very much. A great, uh, very impressive of 
our pastor David Wong this morning, who quoted from uh, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, 17. What do you say here? New creation. So to be a new creation, this is not easy. That's what I have in my life. There are great, great struggles in all sides. Backward, forward, left and right. But as long as I know I'm new creation. Amen. I am not fight by myself, but Jesus is always there. So I'm up again to this uh, verse 19. Uh, he says, uh, because I'm new creation, I have reconciled to the Lord. Without new creation, I have not accept this, that I have a new in his life. There is no re reconciliation. Because of reconciliation, God not imputing my trespasses all before now and after. I don't know. I will ask after. How about my trespasses afterwards? And you're asking because I have God not imputing my trespasses anymore. I become ambassador on this world. To be ambassador, like Indonesia and ambassador, in ambassador, 100% is about Indonesia. Everything can be seen, ambassador Indonesia. Everything Indonesia can be seen in ambassador of Indonesia, anywhere over the world. That's what I compare ambassador of God to every one of us in our life can be seen in the life of Jesus in any aspect. So, it is great, great, great uh, difficult for myself how I can live to be the image of Christ. To be God chosen man it is not easy. But as I always have faith that I am not alone. Jesus is there. But sometimes I lost too. I often told you before, I want to do what is good, as Christ said, but I do always bad things. Till today, <laughs> I'm a good man. As myself, as Jesus, maybe people say I'm good, good to the world. But to God, I am not far away. So pray for me. Yeah. This one thing, this is not far from you know some beauty. This one thing I want to ask again. Yeah. Mm. This is uh, we are not imputing our trespasses anymore. We are reconciled, we are purified. But sometimes people say, hey, don't smoke. Because we are our body is the dwelling of God's spirit. Yeah, they are very clear. Why we talk always about smoking, but not eat meat? Because by smoking, you have lung cancer. By eating a lot of meat, you have also sick, high blood pressure. You think this is not sin? Mm -hmm. God, you God given you a good body, no sickness at all. But because we are not prepared our life to be, to be healed, we have a lot of sick because of smoke, lung cancer, because a lot of eating uh, junk food or a kind of meat become high blood pressure. Do you think not, this is not seen when you have got, you have high blood pressure, like smoking, you said you smoke, you have cancer. Now you eat a lot of meat, you become high blood pressure or, or diabetes. It's, you think this is not seen? High blood pressure or diabetic mm. and smoking, you say sin. Don't smoke, it's sin because your body is the dwelling of God's spirit. When you have diabetic, like I told you last week, my, my nephew have uh, amputated 
a few of her fingers because of DB. You see, it is not sin, so I need your answer. All smoking only cause of sickness uh, sin, and a lot eating a lot of junk food becomes sick, so do not sin. Because this never be preached in the in the church or anywhere. Always smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Why you don't preach? Don't eat a lot of meat. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's the physical element. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Remember, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So, because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit, do you want to pollute yourself with the temple? So that's why smoking. But. It's a challenge. I give you the real testimony. I had one guy who was a drug addict. You know, that means heroin, ganja, you know, marijuana. He was reformed. He repented. Well, he can give up heroin you know, within a few months. But it took him years huh, to give up smoking for some reason. Which is more additive? Ganja, heroin, marijuana, or is it smoking? The, the element that they had was because all these are illegal, so he knows he will go into jail. But this smoking uh, wow, is with him because he did not try hard enough. He can go, no? So this is the, where sometimes we ask, are we really new? It is a challenge. Paul in himself <laughs> struggle in himself. Uh, Paul says, outwardly, I'm wasted away, but inwardly, I'm renewed. And now we always say, lah, outwardly, I'm 65. Lah. Inwardly, my heart is 56 lah, 56. Lah. But for those who are, for example, 62, outwardly, <laughs> inwardly, they are 26. Lah. You can at least reverse. Lah. Your heart is still young <laughs> for Christ. So remember, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you must be careful. So even food, don't even know. Do you know, you see, that food offered to idols should not even go into your mouth. But we are also reminded. That's why I say, when you read the word of God, as it touches you, you speak. It's not so much that the food, actually, Paul says, go out to anywhere. You, you now go to the market, I tell you this. A lot of non-Christians, <laughs> huh? that means in Chinese, you, feel, you see a lot of idols. They pray, you know, they pray actually. So how are you going to eat? You cannot buy from the fellow. Huh? There are very few Christian people out there. But when you pray, why do you say grace before you pray? You cleanse the food and you remind yourself to be thankful you find yourself and you cleanse because thank God, you, know, you never know that could have been food poisoning and you get, yes, yeah, sometimes you get diarrhea, but you pray. Why do you say grace? First, to be thankful for the daily provision. Secondly, to sanctify the food. It's in Genesis. Why you actually pray? So when you say grace, remember itself, it's a sanctification prayer of the food and your life and also appreciation prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your provision. So remember, uh, you are, and then of course, make wise choices. Uh, you know very well. Uh, anything in excess, as Paul say, in excess, whether you take uh, a lot of, I like guava, uh, but you take too much, you get some poison, food poisoning in this. So do not take, take in moderation. Remember, help is well, uh, brother. That itself will save you a lot of headaches. So we can pray for you now if you need. Any prayer for help, please, in simple childlike faith, I'm going to ask because he has given us the power and authority to have healing. So, okay. Samiri, does he help it's you? Clear. It's clear. Samiri. Yeah, okay. I, I, I don't know for some reason I'm drawn towards you. Huh? I like you. <laughs> I like yeah. you. You're an interesting guy. I like you. Okay, Edmund, you anything much. to add, Edmund? Brother Edmund, anything to add? Well, I was a heavy drinker and a heavy smoker. But when I came to know the Lord, sorry, my voice, I can't talk well. Mm -hmm. Excuse me because I'm taking a cough mixture. Mm. Uh, so, but the Lord delivered me of all my whiskey and my brandy and all my wine. You know, my whiskey can cost a lot of money. Mm. I used to have my column 30 years, which is our stock is a collector item. It costs today 26,000 ringgit for one bottle. And you know where they all throw all that? 
you know, my whiskey, Royal Salute, mm. and uh, my Cullen whiskey, all the expensive whiskey and and brandy, EXO. I just pour it down into the toilet bowl. Imagine that. <laughs> People Imagine. Call, is it a wise thing? Me. No. But yet That's he tough. knows God has given him a new identity. He's a new creation. Okay. I tell yeah, you, all my him. all my people tell me I'm a fanatic. I'm yeah. crazy. Say you should give the brandy to your wife. You go and cook some, uh, make some uh, cookies or cakes. But I obey. But from that day when I did it, I stopped drinking. Amen. Just Praise like God. that. Just Whoa. like that. But my hate, my smoking was carrying carry on. I tried to do it. They done a lot of deliverance. And you need deliverance. It took years for me to get out of there. Mm, mm. Because you know why? I think the spirit, whenever I travel six months out of the country, I I mean, when you're a businessman, whenever you go out of country, whether you go to India, they will entertain you, or you go to Japan, they will entertain you. You'll be taking, uh, after dinner, you'll be drinking, you know, and then you go to karaoke joints, so all the things which is, but when you're a Christian, your desire of that don't go anymore. You don't have the desire to go out to entertain and get yourself entertained. The only setback was smoking. It took me five years to get rid of that, even though so many deliverance go through. I've gone through a lot of deliverance when I was a young Christian. And I can tell you the other one, I think I get visitation from the demons too, you know, which I see them because I was taking care of my mother in my family house, which are full of idols. Mm. And uh, demons are real. I have encountered with them. I can share that in other... I think I share that in Pastor Raymond. I mean, our, our Raymond taste chapter. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you could, yeah. So, please do not condemn a brother who goes was a heavy <laughs> drinker or a heavy smoker, but pray for them. Be, be uh, Christ life, Christ love. You know, don't condemn them. Pray for them, let them to go, encourage them to go for deliverance. And I think there is a pastor from Indonesia, both husband and wife from now have gone to LA and they are now teaching the Malaysian and Singaporean. I don't know about in Indonesia, I think they do. It's called the Elijah Challenge. <laughs> And it's uh, teaching you. I think they are teaching Malaysian. I have attended a course three, four years ago in Port Dixon. And I'm still repeating the course every Monday mm -hmm. night. I think a Malaysian time, 8 o'clock. Huh? Am I right, Raymond? 8 o'clock. Please join in. Very good teaching. It's a different sort of day prayer. They command, command prayer by faith, moving mountain faith to cast out demons and deliverance and healing the sick and you they after his preach he pray for something and miracles does happen he goes to india thousands and thousands i mean he has fantastic testimony he's in indonesia but now reside in america with his wife so i encourage you maybe pastor i mean i call pastor raymond Tay now <laughs> because he speak like he speak like a pastor nowadays yeah so you i'm can... a bit a bit chesty today because Amen. of the uh, medication I'm taking. But praise God, I'm clear, totally clear from my medical checkup yesterday, which Amen. I delayed for three months. But thank God. But uh, this is just because of the raining season, nighttime, the temperature fall, and you have an air con. So you must have got a chill, and then you get a cough. But whatever is it, uh, brother, uh, don't condemn brothers who drink and sleep and smoke, pray for them, cast them out the demons. And I suggest Brother Raymond Tay will send you the connection for Monday night, maybe Monday night, 8 p.m. is 7 p.m. Jakarta time or Indonesian time. Very wonderful teaching, very practical, and you are put to practice. And we go in break, breakout room to 10, 12 people, and then those people, yeah, we have 700 people attending that meeting every mm -hmm. Saturday, every Monday. So I encourage Indonesian brother, he's an Indonesian. 
and he can share. His name is uh, Pastor William Lau. William Elijah Lau. Challenge Ministry. Okay, mm. okay. I think uh, Raymond, I can't talk long. Can you, can you can you can you take over, Raymond, please, on William yes. Lau's ministry? Thank you. Okay, Brother Edmund, Okay, yeah. uh, um, he may not be uh, Indonesian. He is American born Chinese, married oh. uh, Indonesian lady. Okay. Yeah. So, but their first mission trip was to uh, Borneo Island, uh, Kalimantan, when they were only three years old Christian. Mm. So from there, he planted a uh, few churches there, uh, unreached tribes, you know, in the very interior part of uh, uh, this, uh, you know, uh, Indonesia in Kalimantan, uh, in uh, Borneo Island. So I think hundreds of thousands of people through his teaching training, uh, so now he's already trained the trainers. He's no longer pastoring the church. So people came to the Lord when they saw signs, wonder, and miracles, and then preached the gospel. So like Luke 9, 1, you know, it say, you know, uh, power mm. and authority being given to the believers, uh, to the disciples, to cast out demons, heal the sick, and then Amen. you preach the gospel. Right? So I give the number, I'll send you the link if you want to come and yeah, join. Please do. Please do. To yeah. Basti, please send me, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You send, you send the link and you then disseminate. Okay. 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 I, I got, yeah, man. Yeah. The number Thank you. is a uh, Malaysian number, is it? Mm. Yeah. Plus 6012 uh, 3 six eight yeah okay thank you yeah uh i also uh, followed the teaching of william william duke yeah uh when uh, he was uh, at a zoom meeting and also uh i was at wonder of the participants yeah the teaching is very wonderful yeah but i'm not sure whether uh, he can speak indonesian because at the time uh, when I followed uh, the teaching, uh, he speaks in English. Yeah. Oh, for because, uh, uh, he will ask the wife to speak. We are the wife is an Indonesian. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for, for that news. Okay. Now, before closing the meeting today, I just uh, give you an announcement. Lucas Christian's mother died yesterday. Lucas Christian is a faithful participant at FGBI English chapter. So I will send you yeah, uh, about this news. So if you would like to take part in helping to express condolence, yeah, you, you might do it. Yeah. Okay, so today I give time to uh, Edmund Chan to close the meeting in prayer. But if you have uh, supplication uh, in prayer, so, request, request. Wait, wait, Sambiring wants to say something? Sambiring, yes? Yeah, request for my nephew that have amputated two of her fingers. She is recovering. Her name is Christine. So uh, Sambiring, Sambiring, it's better you type at the room chat so Edmund Chan can read it. Yeah. Any of you would like uh, to be prayed? If you have supplication prayer, just type in the room chat and Ben Chan can read it. I think and, uh, uh, Pastor Sikati. I yes, think you, us, I will pray for first you. Raymond I pray. To I'll pray. pray for because oh, I, will, I will pray yeah. for you. So. Yeah. Let Raymond okay. Day pray. Okay. Okay, okay. Ah. Okay. And Edmund Chan will close the meeting, okay? No, no, no. <laughs> what? I will close the meeting. And then we'll pray for Edmund Chan. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Thank, you for, for Thank you for good conversation. Oh okay. uh, yeah. 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 Do good stay good for those who can stay for further fellowship of another half an hour. Please do. Uh, yeah. Okay, then, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Simbering, simbering okay. You can put onto the chat, and then we yeah. can see what is the question and answer. Uh, okay. A. Okay, Raymond Chan, please do. Please do. Raymond Tay, yeah. Raymond Tay. So Raymond Tay, yes. Oh, we cross in prayer. Let's minister to our brother Edmund Chan. 
Amen. just agree with me, okay? So okay, okay. The Elijah challenge method, okay? Okay, okay, okay. So, thank you. So just now, you know, we pray that, you know, uh, uh, God answering our prayer. So okay. thank you for <laughs> Brother David uh, message. 2 Corinthians 5.17 is a, my, one of my favorite verses with my children, you know? So uh, to, uh, you know, remind the identity, you know, especially for the young people. So new creation. So thank the Lord, you know? So God hold here our prayer. So now we just agree with me. I'm going to issue command. Uh, for Brother Edmund Chan to heal today, all right? Okay, in the mighty name of Jesus, yes. I command sore throat or any bacteria that cause the sore throat to go right now. In, in Jesus' name. name. Yes, amen. I command infirmities yes. in Brother Edmund Chan's body to yes. go right now in the amen. name of Jesus. Yes, I yes, command amen. Cell, every cell in the body to renew again. Yes, amen, amen. Thank you, Father. I command the immune system to increase yes. Yes. right now. Yes, amen. Brother amen. Beckman Chad's body. Yes. To combat all the bacteria to infections to yes. go right amen. now in the amen. mighty amen. name of Jesus. Yes. I command by the strength of Jesus, be healed to make whole yes. Yes. this body belong to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed and make whole. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for your answering prayer, Lord. Thank you for the message by uh, Pastor David Wong. Uh, for we uh, need to be reminded uh, to die thyself to mm. carry the cross every single Amen. day, Amen. so that we can renew, right? As we are new creations, but in the Romans chapter two, it say. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but yes. renewing our mind Amen. Amen. with the word of God every single day, Lord. Thank yes. you, Lord, for whoever bring the prayer request, Lord. Their uh, request will be answered, Lord, right? because you are the uh, uh, prayer answering God, Lord. We yes. give you thanks for all our brothers here as they are, uh, whatever they are facing challenges, Lord, as they come to you, cry out to you, let it be done by your will, Lord. By your will. In Jesus' name, uh, let the love of God, the grace of Jesus Christ, fellowship of our Holy Spirit go with us, Lord, wherever we are. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, thank you. Yeah, I believe I'm yeah. We're thank great. You. If you can stay, thank you. I would like to hear from Grace. Grace, are you still there, Grace? Yeah. Grace, Grace is still here. Yeah. Yeah, Grace. So, yes. what have you learned today, Grace? Have you found something? I learned, uh, I learned the position, the position, position ourselves well in this time. Yes, your identity, and, yeah. And also the inside position, I learned the, no, no the power purpose. I have learned, power of God I have learned from Elijah challenge so much. Amen, amen. And you're on your purpose. What is your purpose? Oh, purpose. <laughs> yeah, the three P's. Oh. My purpose uh, is to work out my salvation in trembling and prayer. So, yeah. uh, so, uh, but still on the way, you know, God's leading there. Okay. And don't forget to share your love. Uh, the gospel itself. Jesus came to reach out the lost. Share your love. Even just to one. Just one. It could be your neighbor. It could be yes. a stranger. You yeah. decide. Yeah. yeah. And, and the easiest way, if you are shy, give a track. If it's an Indian, go look for Indian track. If it's a Malay, Malay track. But I know yeah. in Malaysia, it's a bit sensitive, so be careful. So that is the, that's why bonus yeah. count. Yeah. <laughs> black, black. Must, be, must yes. be lit by the spirit, right? Yes, yes. Puji Tuhan. Puji Tuhan. Uh, it's tough now. You, your, your government is also having its hard times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, big headache for you all. I also can quite imagine. It will be kidding. So we ah, turn yeah. to we turn to like foreigners, you know, those, those foreigners like uh, Pakistan, like Afghanistan, you know, they, they, they are the Muslims that we can share to freely. Amen. Amen. And you can use it through Zoom or through YouTube. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thanks. Praise the Lord. Keep up the good work. Keep up the God work. Okay. There's a, a request on the chat I didn't see. So now uh, we want to pray for... Uh, Pastor Robert 
dikalikan sa yes sun wedding sun sun yeah ah, sun ah. 27 you, of august ha huh? lift up the lepus uh, lepus tarigan dikalikan sun uh, philippus tarigan and jessica wedding Jessica. august 27 lord uh, i pray that the wedding yes, will sir. be carry on successfully lord yes, you provide because you got yes, jehovah zaira god that provide yes. lord us 5000 never we hold any good things for your children lord as the word say lord thank you lord for your uh, favor upon this couple lord as they uh, you unite together union as one uh, uh, the multiplications will take place lord and be fruitful and multiply lord so you provide and uh, uh, put a hedge of protection on them on the guests that coming for the celebration lord that you provide whatever their heart desire Lord, you supernaturally provide for them, Lord. We, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it's done. It's done, Lord. We give you glory. We give you all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow, Tarigan. Amen. Tarigan, want to add something? Tarigan, are you still there? Yeah, thank you so much for uh, the prayers for my, the wedding of my son. Um. Yeah, um, 1987, when we went to the Philippines, certain mm. part of the Philippines, as ambassadors of Christ. Amen. Uh, we really appreciate, uh, you know, that kind of uh, uh, position that the Lord entrusted to us, you know, to... To share the word of God to unbelievers uh, over there, uh, praise God! Many Muslims came to the Lord through our ministry. Uh, we praise God uh, for that. Uh, so uh, pray that the, the Lord can, will do the same thing also in Medan among the Delhi Malay people. Mm. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, longing to see many Delhi Malay people will come to know the Lord also. Thank you. So how is the wedding preparation? It's on the 27th, right? 27th of August. No change, huh? Yes. Uh, so please pray that um, all the requir requirements will be met. Uh, this morning, my son called, uh, called me Uh, he said, uh, we need a letter from the civil registration in Medan uh, that is not married yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, we need that kind of letter uh, from the government. <laughs> And I, I don't know who can help us to get that letter because we are now in Lombok. If I, I am in Medan, I can do it, but we are now in Lombok Island. Yeah, nobody in Medan that you have or somebody you know? Yeah, we will ask our friends. Hopefully, they can do it. <laughs> they, they don't do by internet, huh? the email or something. They don't, huh? Yeah, uh, I don't think so. Oh, that's, we that's have tough. to go there. <laughs> wow, that's tough. For us, we thank God. Mm. Uh, most of it are done on internet. A lot of things. The government are quite well versed. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. This is a challenge. Yeah, okay, we'll keep you that in mind. You are, you are in developed country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something we take for granted sometimes. <laughs> yeah, now well, thank God for that anyway. But we keep you in prayer and we look forward after the 27th to hear your testimony and see the pictures on it. So I shall yes, look forward yes. to it. Yes, yeah, so be with him. Any others before we call it a day? Then? <coughs> other sharing <coughs> or, or any other uh, Thomas Thomas for example Thomas are you still there Thomas I think yes. quite yeah Thomas yes. you you said something about Singapore then you are in Batam you are actually in Batam but what was you said you were in Singapore or something what was it about uh, 10 years ago I worked in Pochitek Singapore Bedok South oh you were working in Singapore is it yes oh kerja apa ya What were you uh, doing in Singapore? Make, making escalator and lift. Es, what escalator? Escalator, escalator lift, you know lift? Oh, 
escalator, escalator. Yeah. Oh, so you were an uh, engineer in the... Actually, I'm not an engineer. Uh, after working for five years in Block South, Fujitech, then the company opened the new branch in Batam. Oh, okay, Fujitech, yeah, very then big. I worked in Batam for about seven years more. Then I resigned. Then I went to Bintan. Then I worked in Bintan Island. It's not far away from Batam. Yeah, yeah, the next yeah. island. So I used to stay in Singapore. I know a bit about Singapore. And also mm -hmm. I went to GB. To where? Johor Bahru. Johor Bahru. Oh, JB, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just like, yeah. yeah. Now all locked down, yeah. Well, yes. I look forward. I look forward to seeing you because Hasib Wan <laughs> is doing ministry there. Now you're back. Which part of Batam are you staying? Uh, I, 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 I live in Batam right now. Yeah, which part? Okay. Which part of Batam? Okay. Uh, uh, Batam Chandra. Yeah. Oh, Skupang, Skupang. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's a port there. Yeah, there's a, there because yeah. Batam is very close to Singapore. Yeah, yeah. 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 Skupang. Skupang is about 45 minutes. The ferry ride. Yes, more or less. More or less like that. Yeah. Batam I really Chandra enjoyed the setting today, Mr. David. Oh, like praise the Lord. Thank you. I, I hope. Yeah. I really feel blessed by the setting today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Thank God. For I, like, I like 2 Corinthians 17. I like it. Yeah, it's really, yeah. I mean, we yeah. got to remind us, women, to exchange. By Please. listening to the message, by listening to the message you said today, then we must know our, our identity, our In purpose, yeah. and our power. So it is by him, <laughs> for him, and to, uh, no, it's to, uh, to him. Uh, Christ has given us that thing. And it's for him and by him, by the authority of Jesus Christ. Then we all live. Yeah. It's to yes. him. To him for, uh, for his purpose and by his power. That's yeah. right. You want the power? Then I'm more stronger <laughs> by listening to the message you today. Go, man. Go. Go in Jesus' blessed. name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I shall look forward to see. Yeah. Have you Praise listened to the yeah, have you contact you you wrote a contact to Subakti, right? So keep in touch. Please come. If you want to learn about English, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow Subakti has an English teaching. Uh, he will tell you. So if you give him a thing that is teaching of the uh, English, huh? Since you like to learn English tomorrow for uh, through the word of God. It's uh, tomorrow American, at what time? Uh, it's eight o'clock, if I'm not wrong. Is it eight o'clock, Subakti? Yeah, uh, Thomas, uh, please type your contact number at the room chat. Yeah, so I will right, send you. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, reading. yeah, do that. Okay. Uh, Thomas. I greatly yeah. appreciate that. I like it. Yeah, um, yeah. I think you will enjoy it. Tomorrow I should be able to join you all. Nine o'clock for me in Singapore. One hour. Uh, eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. I look forward. Yeah. It's very good. Grace, it's, it's, it's Grace good also can join. Uh, Grace, the, if, tomorrow. Yeah. yeah it's this good. is learning the word, but through English. Improve yes. your English if you already know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm lucky yeah. and happy today. I could join this step of English stepper. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God's timing. God's yeah. timing for you. I thank you Praise to Mr. Surbakties, the president chapter. Yeah, How did you know the, uh, the link uh, this morning? Yes. How did you know the, the link of uh, the meeting today? I also one of the member in the Chio Forum Full Gospel. Okay, okay. Also from the Sidio Arjo Full Gospel, I joined this group. Oh, <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Mm. Now, yeah. if you are really very keen, someone for English, huh? Wednesday, Raymond Tay conducts Zoom. Okay, besides the Monday one, which I will now go in because of learning, but there is very strong testimony and improve your English. Or well, there you get well, a few hundreds man, every time. Okay. okay, all right. We are all neighbors, Malaysia, uh, Singapore, Indonesia, MSI. Okay, oh, so from Singapore, you learn Singlish. From Malaysia, you learn <laughs> Maklish. <laughs> Maklish. <laughs> I don't Maklish know. Maklish. Maklish. <laughs> English, Maklish. Okay, English, please Maklish. don't forget to, to, to send yeah, me the link. Subhakti, I can yeah, follow on Wednesday. Okay, uh, uh, Thomas, please mention your contact number. Okay. Zero eight. Zero eight. Double Double two. Zero eight. Double two. Five seven. Okay. I repeat. Repeat. Zero eight. Double. Zero eight. Double two. Double two. Two five five seven. 
two five five seven five one five one four six four six i repeat yeah zero eight yes. double two 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 five five seven five one four four six <sighs> that's correct yes okay okay that's good okay one, I, yeah. okay grace can i have your number yeah raymond yeah Okay, my number is 011. 011. 3927. 3927. 5643. 5643. I repeat. 011-3927-5643. Uh, yes. Uh, so plus, plus uh, 6, is it? Uh, plus 6. 60, uh, 6011. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. So tomorrow, don't forget to join our learning English through Bible. So I will, uh, yeah, we use the same link that we use today. Yeah, the same link. Okay. But I can remind you also for tomorrow meet, meeting. The time, Indonesia, 8 o'clock, KL yeah. Singapore, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, yes. Yeah. So a little bit early. But for yeah. those who want to learn the English language uh, and also the word of God uh, together and our first experience and fellowship. Uh, yeah, Sambiring yes. is always there. He's a strong supporter. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. You enjoy Sambiring. Your English, the English class. Do you enjoy it? Uh, I was not uh, present myself. I, did, I was uh, absent last week. Hmm. I was not there. So, so will you sorry. be there? Yeah. Will I you be there tomorrow? Yes. Like I said, I want to do what is good, but the bad thing is still there. Okay, great, great, great. But don't forget, pray for my uh, nephew. Her name is Joan, that uh, her fingers was amputated, two fingers. Okay. For recovery. Johan, Yo what's that? Yeah, the name again? Johan, Johan. Johan, uh, your niece, huh? niece, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is the matter with her? What's the request? Uh, recovery from uh, her finger, two fingers was amputated. Oh, what is the problem? Is it accident Actually, or is it diabetes? Diabetes, diabetes, diabetes. Diabetic. How old is she? 45. 45, really young. All right, let's just right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for what Raymond has shared and about what Monday they can have. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we pray for the protection and healing. And we keep the rest of the finger, Nononi or something, the niece of Sambirin. And we pray too that if she can learn the English, come. And if she can learn the word, she wants to learn English tomorrow. So we pray for the others, Father, as we part off from here, that your spirit continually unfold us and a hedge of protection and a grace of provision be with us and pull us through. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God Amen. say, Amen. 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 That's it. Any other Amen. last thing? So we'll see you. Thanks, Mr. Raymond. You can, Master Raymond. You can, you can uh, uh, zoom on Monday night. 8 30, uh, 8 that means your time is 7 7 so you bring your yawn together with you in the zoom pastor william now will administer to her you'll see the miracle yeah and your wednesday is one o'clock and batam will be 12 o'clock wednesday for your mfi here yeah. raymond taste thank you thanks brother raymond and thanks edmund thomas Robert Tarigan, thank you. Tuhan berkati. Tuhan berkati. Hello. Hello. Uh, have a good rest, Raymond. Thank you. Okay. Go to sleep now. Yeah, very okay. have a good rest. Okay, now, you now I close, you, okay? But your okay. daughter is coming back in September, right? September. Yesterday, uh, two session praying for this uh, Richard Ling. Uh. Yeah, Richard Ling, yeah. yeah. Uh, from yes, the com his company one, uh, all his staff and the uh, children are together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So we we'll catch up again. Okay. We most welcome you, Thomas. Yeah, Grace, for this journey. You enjoy. You enjoy the English lesson and Grace if you want. 
Yeah. Okay. But please share. Please share, okay? Please share. That's what we hope. That's it why is, our group is so small. It's interesting. But with Raymond one, time is always a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd is so big. I want to say hello, so I cannot. <laughs> I Thank yeah. God. So do remember, don't shallow ship. Fellowship wherever possible. And share the word of God. Yeah, God yeah. be with you. Amen. Shalom. Okay. So the close now. Yes. The close, yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.